Welcome back everybody to episode at number 150 and what you just saw there are two cracking victories against Malaga and Real San Sebastian on the back of two defeats in last episode. Today we have got Dortmund which is a most important game really. A win here would set us through to the next stage I guess and then we have an away match against Barcelona top of the table. The division looks like this. We are lying in third position. We are eight points behind Barcelona, so a win is a must. And Barcelona just don't seem to be letting up. And Real Madrid are five points ahead of us as well. So you can see how important a win is going to be. Alexander is top of the charts for the goal scorers, which is r pretty decent as well. He's got 13 goals in the league, and we've got nobody else that's anywhere close in our team. It looks... Uh, Pretty ridiculous. And then obviously the Champions League, which is quite important. We A win here, or even a draw. I think a draw we can get away with. We, it's virtually ourselves on Monaco, but obviously Monaco are ahead on um, on aggregate scoring against ourselves after beating us 3-1 in the last uh, game. Side, that's going to take them on. I didn't realise Garcia is uh, injured there, so we'll, we'll move him, put Zanchi in there. Uh, Perugio is fit and rearing to go at the back so we're going to take Senzio off uh, bring uh, Perugio in and Arebus he's having a time of his life at the moment but we're going to bring in um, um, or oh, are we no we're actually no, we're going to leave Arebus there because he is playing well between him and uh, Dolan they did well together in the last game so uh, Valencia is in goal we've got Garcia, Blanchard, Perugio and third Fernandez, Rebus Dolan, and then we've got Kitchberg on the right, Grinnell on the left, and then Enrique in the centre just behind Alexander. Alexander, what can I say? 19 goals this season, 13 in the league. This guy is on fire. We're going to stick with this formation because it is working. Although I was going to go two up front, I've decided to go this formation only because we're aware and we do need that victory. And then Enrique is moaning that he's not getting any game time as well. So that's the other reason we're coming back to this formation. But it's not a loss. So let's uh, get on with it. Let's jump straight into it, really. Uh, Real Madrid battered Dinamo Kiev 7-0. Jimenez scoring a hat-trick. Gabala scoring a hat-trick. Their side is just solid this season. Absolutely solid. So they made some really good uh, transfers. We made one blip with Adrian moving to Everton. Oh, we're at home. Okay, we're at home. I didn't realise we were at home. So maybe we should have gone two up front. I didn't realise. My bad. Uh, Jordan Sancho. How is he doing? He's one of probably a player I would like to have had in if he was a lot younger, but he's 31 years old now. He's had quite a good career. It looks like he stayed with Dortmund. All this, he hasn't moved at all. Bought him from Man City for seven and three quarter million. That's that's not bad going, but he has been consistent in there. Wow, great player. Let's see if we can uh, grind ourselves a result. A point will lead us into the next stage. And let's hope we can get past that first knockout round, which is uh, was disappointing last time. Someone's done his hamstring in. I'm going to pause it. Is that Kitchberger? I think he's done his hamstring in. Oh, great. I'm just hoping now we have got uh, a sooner on the bench, which doesn't look like we have. Oh, we have. Let's just straight swap them. That's not a problem. So we're going to how long Kitchberger is going to be out for. As it stands, we are top of the group. So uh, Monaco must be losing to Zenit, surprisingly. Uh, Monaco are losing 1-0 to 9-minute penalty. Right, we have a free kick out sooner. And there we have it. On to Blanchard. So that's his first goal for Sevilla, I think it is. He's off the mark. So that is his first goal. And what an important goal this could turn out to be. It does mean that a draw against Zenit as it stands at the minute will lead us into the next stage um, as group winners. Let's do this for the fans. Let's jump straight in there. Uh, Alexander's been rather quiet. I suppose the formation was just one up front. I suppose they've just been got used to having two up there. Pause it and might bring Marino on. Uh, there we go. Um, We've got one more substitution, so it's either a toss-up between Diara and Majoski coming in and taking Enrique off. But we'll leave it another 10 minutes before we do that. I don't want to risk this position. We're in Monaco, have got one back. Coming to the last 10 minutes of the game. If we can get another one here, then we'll change the formation. But I think it might be wise just to... 
Again, another great save. Moreno this time on the left-hand side on the back post. We are coming close, I think. Um, I might just bring Majoski in there anyway. No, actually no, I won't. I'm going to bring Dyer in there. He can play there. And he can just go in uh, as a an extra attacker. It's better than having two up front and exposing that midfield. Monaco have just gone 2-1 up. Unbelievable. So really, let's... Wow, what was that? Offside. Whew, I'll tell you what, that, I thought that was close. But uh, Monaco have scored in 85th minute. Pellegrini. And that's a headed out. That is the win. 1-0, all the same. And uh, there we go. 1-0. A grand out resort like that against Barcelona. And I think we're going to go with that formation again. Uh, Monaco 2-1. That's just so annoying. Schberger's injured. He's only going to be out for a few days with uh, injured after sprinting. Okay, so it's not as serious as what they thought it was going to be. And Moreno's injured. He's out. injured after sprinting as well. So they were running down the wings and they got themselves injured. We'll send the assistant to that. We receive it two and a half million, which is nice. And we qualify for the first knockout stage, which is even better. So praise Blanchard's performance. You did well. You got the winner. So keep it up for your first goal as well. Barcelona is going to be coming up. This is going to be a quite an important game. They are top of the table. They are flying. So in that case, I am going to rest these players. We're going to rest them for a day. Uh, da, da, da. There we go. You're done. Right. Barcelona coming up. A must win game. Barcelona then showcase game. Top of the table. We didn't to do too well against Real Madrid. We lost 3 2 after well, we're getting back into the game. Uh, but Barcelona, we did beat them earlier on in the um, Super Cup final. We had two up front there. Alexander scored a hat trick. So I'm hoping he's going to do the same again. Although we are going to be playing a slightly different formation considering we are away from home and it is against Barcelona. And they are just very, very solid at the moment. They're just winning everything. So Valencia is in goal. In fact, that side hasn't changed at all. The early changes are... I'm, I'm considering bringing Marino in. Probably not for this game yet. As soon as the early change... Um, Kitschberger, he's out injured. But he is fit and ready to play. But we're just going to monitor him. And Fofana comes in for Oribas as well. Derlin's a little bit tired, but we're going to stick with him. And we've got Ando coming in Perugia as well for the same reason. So, apart from that, the side is as it is. Uh, Enrique's a little bit unhappy. I don't understand why he's unhappy. He just wants more game time. Well, he has been playing get more game time, but he hasn't really impressed me that much. He is ahead of Diara by some way. And uh, Nunes, I forgot we had Nunes. We're not going to put it off any longer. Barcelona, 4-4-2. Uh, Savage is still around. How old is he now? 36 years old. Wow. This is it. I'm shaking hands with the manager. I'm not sure who the manager is at, uh, at Barcelona. It seems to change, but he seems to be doing wonders this season. Playing really well. Unbeaten so far this season. Can we inflict their first defeat for Farn into Alexander and Asuna? It looks like it's offside. Yes, we. Uh, I think that'll be the only chance we'll be getting this game, which is rather annoying. Oh, he's stand. Get a grip, my friend. Jeez, it's a well taken goal though. <laughs> Just unfortunate it was offside. Right, Barcelona have the attack now. Five minutes in, so we've had the ball in the back of net, which was offside, but Barcelona are probably going to do it properly. For some reason, I thought that was in. I was going to just stand in shock. Uh, we have an hour attack, so it's all... Well, we've just given it away. They've just given it away, so hopefully we can capitalise on this. And for Farna, wow, with a with a great shot. Demers now for uh, Barcelona, plays it to Mbaye. He plays it back. He's going to mess up. No, he's not. He's going to pump it up, and he's going to get a header on straight to uh, Canadilla and Dyke. Slots in very, very easily. That's his 15th of the season. There's no stopping this guy at all. And that's just, it's one, it's route one football and we just seem to be undone at the back. I don't think Blanchard could actually reach it, but that's a uh, four defense. I mean, we've got these guys here. What the hell are they doing? They've got two Barcelona players on either side, on the outside of that little group there. So how the hell that ball managed to get through, I've got no idea. Bring in another midfielder in January. It's a must. And I'm going to have to ask for a bit more money because we've only got three million to spend. Not much of it. Well, we've overspent on the wage budget. 
but we have got 58 million in the bank so they need to give us a little bit more money and uh, we've lost out yet again <laughs> wow um this is the reason why they're top unbelievable again ball just lofted up and it's just coming from the goalkeeper we need to stop the ball going up i mean that's a cracking goal absolute cracking goal so we've had seven shots though 58 percent possession changing room um disappointing uh, you think we're going to go aggressive so show me something else in the second half um we're just going to say get creative we have we, we're pan um, we're packing out the d uh, midfield so maybe that's not the way to go we need two players up front and Henri, in fact i'm going to do that now there's nothing i can't lose this game really it's already lost so we're just going to do that we're going to bring a majoski in there and he can go on support we just made that one change and uh, we'll go two up front what else can we do we might get a couple of goals back actually the goalie comes claims very very easily and uh, where was alexander just don't let the goalkeeper have the ball they're playing triangles at the back they're just messing around with us and they find a way out and they're coming forward again oh it's a good interception by blanchard pity he didn't do that for the first goal and would have made such a difference but majoski now with the ball turns he's on a run and wow i think he stubbed his foot when he kicked it but barcelona are just playing so so much better and i think it's going to be a whipping absolute well three nil i mean geez what a goal assist by lopez and this is turning into a rout Ninety-eight thousand at the new camp wow that's great how many did we bring with us? I'm not so sure. But that's a very, very good head. There's nothing the goalkeeper can do about the goals. I've decided. Valencia just hasn't had a chance. We bring 820 fans away with us. 820 out of 98,000. Were we only allowed 820 tickets? I'm beginning to wonder. Grinnell comes forward. And all oh, good interception by Osuno, Alexander. And we do get one back by Grinnell. Sixth goal of the season, assist from Majoski, and I'm feeling a little bit better about myself now. This this formation does work. Maybe we just need to stick it out against the harder teams, but we are away from home and just expecting we should, by the time we could play Barcelona once again at home, that we should um, beat them. But again, we've only had three wins against uh, Barcelona. That's all we've had, and we just need to intercept this over the top. Dykes on the one on one. Wow, he's missed. He's missed. I am looking to have another. Uh, was it Grinnell that scored? I think it was. Was no, but just yeah, Grinnell scored right. We're going to make another substitution. Dalen's not having the best of games, so I am going to bring in Arebus. Blanchard is getting caught out at the back, so we're going to bring in Perugia. Slightly better. Come on then, guys. Let's uh, demand a little bit more as well. We are we've been outplayed, is the word I would use. Outplayed, but Barcelona have been really, really good for their money. Forty-nine percent possession, but they are they are on top of this game. So nothing's really happened since that substitution. He's going to kick the ball, and that's it. Three-one. Barcelona three, Sevilla one, and Alexander did not have one shot on goal at all throughout the whole game. I'm not going to say they were excellent because I don't think they were. It would have been nice for a win, but it wasn't to be. I think we'll go with that. There's only one person that reached any sort of rating, and that was Grinnell, and that's because he scored. <laughs> that, that's about it. Everybody else was shocking. So the table, it doesn't look great reading, does it? Go forward just a day or so just to have a look at what happened uh, when everybody else has played the same number of games because there are a couple of games left to go. Everybody's played 13 games. We are in fourth position. Atletico have leapfrogged us. 26 points. We are 11 behind Barcelona already. Six behind Real Madrid who did drop points against Malaga. Good couple of wins in there. We have got another Champions League game to come, so I'm assuming the draw will be round about there, possibly. So what we'll do, we'll come back when we have the draw for the next round, because we are qualified, I believe we are. So it all depends whether we finish top or not. So maybe we ought to come back to the Zenit game then, I guess, to find out when if we finish top. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more on YouTube channel, please subscribe. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.